do the prote protesters have a have a bit of a point? Which protesters? Things last night. Um, look, I, at all leadership elections, you get people who want to push different agendas. What I've been really clear about is that you know Liz is the right person to unite our party, and crucially, from our point of view, to take on Jeremy Corbyn uh, and and Keir Starmer even and, and beat him. And that's why I'm supporting her. And I think whatever happens at the hustings and you know whatever things people are pushing, it's um, it, it, it's about policy that matters and the person. Liz Truss did react uh, instinctively to uh, that uh, invasion last night uh, of the stage uh, by those uh, climate protesters. She said, "I would legislate immediately to make sure we're not standing to make sure we are standing up to militant trade unions." And she said, "I will never ever allow our democracy to be dis disrupted by unfair protests." Um, so, what do you think of the way that she handled herself? Liz Truss handled herself. Um, after that, well, and any idea of what she meant by how she would handle uh, these unfair protests? Well, I think what it demonstrates is that she's a, a natural and human politician. The, one of the reasons I backed her is she's a real woman of action, maybe an action woman, we should call her, after last night's performance. Um, and, you know, certainly I think she reacted in the right way, but more broadly on the point of... Uh, protests and particularly the strikes that we're going to see crippling our country again next week. She's been really clear that she wants to increase thresholds for trade union action. She wants to make it much tougher for people to bring our country to a standstill. Look, there, there are many countries around the world where if you work on infrastructure, striking is in fact illegal. Now, Liz Truss is absolutely not proposing that and it is not a government policy, but it does show that there are different ways of dealing with it. Families trying to get away uh, this summer have had their plans massively disruptive to go, uh, you know, this is the first real free summer since COVID. I think it's deeply irresponsible to, of these strike actions. And I think but, Liz has absolutely got what it takes to take on the unions and win. But it's, it, it's one thing to make a strong point. It's another thing to say you can't have strikes that aren't disruptive because non-disruptive strikes aren't strikes, are they? I mean, it's... The, the whole point is that they, they need to catch the headlines. They need to be disrupting people, otherwise they lose their impact. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the point I'm making isn't that people won't be able to strike, but it should be a very high threshold because of the disruption that people face. Look, my, my nephew was unable to take one of his GCSEs because he couldn't get to schools. People, I think, not seen family for two years because of COVID, who were hoping to reunite this summer and having their plans disruptive. I actually think that a lot of this strike action, if you look at the consequences, is deeply, deeply cruel and, uh, you know, is having huge negative impacts on people's lives. People are free to strike, but it should be a very high threshold, and that's what Liz Truss has committed to create. She, I'll tell you what else she's said, which is quite interesting, is she said she's going to deal with the, the, the fuel crisis in a very conservative way. What on earth does that mean? Well, I would guess it would be part of how... Um, you know, she's approaching this entire leadership election, which is to say that, you know, the government is taking too many, too much money away from us in tax. The best way of helping people deal with the cost of living crisis, whether it's fuel or anything else, is to enable people to keep more money in their pocket in the first place rather than taking it away from them. She's been absolutely clear when it comes to energy that she's going to put a, a temporary stop on the the levies, which will save a family in excess of £150, on top of the help that has already been announced, £1,200 for low-income families. And But her approach is a Conservative approach, but we are a Conservative government, and that is why, by being Conservatives, she is best placed to take on um, Keir Starmer and to unite our party after this election.